Okay, so people develop histamine reactions uh, after doing antibiotics because you're depleting your body of the natural bouquet of flora that it had before you started. And then when you start to add different probiotic supplements or raw sauerkraut or other fermented things in there, you have way more ferment-based bacteria, which is why uh, histamine uh, reactions happen, because fermented things are super high in histamine. And so that's why people who never had this issue before, like me, all of a sudden had it. Runny nose, itchy eyes, breaking out uh, on the arms with like rashes and stuff. These are things that I'm dealing with or have dealt with. They're going down now um, because of the source of the probiotics. It never used to be that way, right? When we had a healthy beneficial flora, the body can handle pretty much anything. Uh, but it's not the case anymore when we're rebuilding ourselves. We've got to give it some time. In general, histamine reactions go down over time as the body's uh, response, uh, as it builds up more uh, back, good, healthy, uh, varied bacteria in the body. But in the beginning, there's going to be those reactions. If you eat a super healthy diet, uh, you know, following the simple food combinations that I've talked about in other videos, you'll be able to get there and move through the histamine reactions. And one of the things is a histamine reaction isn't an allergy, right? It's the lack of an enzyme for processing the food. It's important to keep that in mind. You're not dealing with an allergy here. Um, it will pass. Uh, just hang in there. And I can talk more in other videos about which foods are high and lowest in histamines. Okay, see you in the next video.